everyone, welcome back to another video about Magic Smart Home. Today I'm going to explain how you can configure all the 4G cameras that operate with the V38 Pro app. Customers often have questions about how to insert the memory card into the camera. Once they insert the memory card, they are unsure if it has been installed correctly. So, in this video, I will provide a detailed explanation on how you can properly set the memory in the SIM card and how you can do it using the V38 Pro app. With that, you can configure this camera. So first of all, you have to power this camera with the adapter that comes with it. After powering it, your camera will start rotating automatically. And in the one cable that comes with it, you will get one indicator light, which will let you know that your camera has been turned on. So in the next step, I'm going to show you by putting one SIM card in it. As I will tell you, you have to put the SIM card in it in the same way. So let's open this slot. You have two slots in it. Inside you will find one memory card slot and one SIM card slot and one side button. There's a little white slot through which you can insert the memory card slot. It's a memory card. It supports memory cards up to 128 GB. All the outs and cameras are there and the little mini slot is the SIM card slot. So you have to place the SIM in such a way. Its cutting area should be towards the front and you have to place the memory record straight inside it. Many customers make the mistake of not placing the SIM card in the memory card. The cards are put inside the slot due to which the SIM card gets stuck in the memo record slot, but you should not make this mistake. What you have to do is put the SIM straight inside the cutting area towards the front and press it. And as soon as you press it, you will hear a one click sound, which will let you know that the SIM card has been set inside your camera properly. So in the first step, you have to power up the camera. In the second step, you have to insert the SIM card. If by chance you face some issue in the camera, if you go there, you can restart the camera by using the reset button. But keep in mind that your SIM card should be removed when you restart this camera. Then first of all, you have to download the V3T Pro app from the Google Play Store. I have already downloaded it. If you have not done it, then you can download it from here. V3AT Pro will have an icon like this. You have to download it. If someone wants to register logging in it, then he can click on the I button. You will get the video after register logging, then click on the plus icon. First, click on the option that says add camera. Once you've done that, you will notice a QR code displayed above the camera. Your task is to scan this QR code carefully, just like this. After you have successfully scanned the QR code, you need to click on the button labeled Add Device. Then choose any area that you prefer and proceed by clicking on Finish. Following this step, you will see an interface appearing right in front of you. At this point, you need to click once more on the option to set password. An option will then appear for you to click on Set Password. To set the password, all you have to do is type Admin, followed by the at symbol, and then the numbers 1, 2, 3. Remember, the word admin should be typed in all capital letters both times. Password. After adding the password, you have to click on confirm. It was a very simple confession. All the 4G cameras which are supported by V3 will be configured like this. So see, your camera has been configured. Thanks for watching.